afternoon. It may be a while before some people on the east side rest easy again. They woke up to gunfire outside of their homes. Two shootings early this morning happened within a half hour on streets within a mile of each other. As Katrina Weber reports, they also happened on the heels of another shooting in the area, which was deadly. At a little after 4 a.m., the 500 block of Blaine Street is wide awake with police activity. The sound of gunshots got their phones ringing, causing officers to answer. The callers ranged from one to two blocks around the perimeter of this, this location. Uh, finally, we narrowed it down. We got a call here. Although they didn't find anyone who was hurt, investigators did find a lot of evidence. They roped off the area and marked off more than a dozen shell casings, believed to be from a rifle. Then they zoned in on other areas caught in the line of fire. Here in the daylight, we can see where some of the gunfire landed, at least two shots in this car. But while we were here earlier this morning, we heard even more gunshots ring out. Before police could finish their work there, they also were called to the 2000 block of East Crockett, where someone fired at least eight rounds into the front of a home. A few shots went through the window on the side there found a few uh, casings inside. That man still is too afraid to show his face and wonders why someone would target his home. He says when he and his girlfriend heard the shots, they hit the floor and called 911. Waking you up out of sound sleep and you're hearing gunshots, uh, bullets hitting the house, yes. It was a very scary situation. The two shootings followed one on nearby Blue Bonnet Street last night, where an 18-year-old man died. Police say that one may have been self-inflicted, but they are investigating whether the two overnight could be connected. Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News.